I am Anil Kumar. In this video, we will understand how to read a distance time graph. The graph shows movement of a car over time. Describe the information in your words. So on the x-axis, we have time t in seconds. On the y-axis, we have distance d in meters. The solid line here indicates the movement of the car which really means that with respect to time, what is the position of the car? So if I say this point is O, the origin from where the car starts, it moves to point A, which is 20 meters away from the starting point, And this much of distance has been covered in five seconds. Then from A, the car moves to a distance which is 40 meters away from the original point and from A it is 20 meters away and the total time taken so far will be 15 starting from the origin. From B to C the distance is not changing. No change in distance means the car is at rest and then it returns. Distance decreases. So at D the car comes back and the distance is zero from the starting point and it takes in all 40 seconds to do this journey. Now that was a small description with some inaccuracies. Uh, we should actually when we describe all this instead of word distance we should use the word displacement. Most of the time we use distance. Remember, I'll give you a difference between the two. That is to say, <coughs> uh, you know, so that you know, under, you understand why displacement and when to use distance. Displacement is change in position. So in our journey, which we described just now, it seemed that the car starts from a point and since that on the distance time graph we get a position which is zero distance away so that means the displacement is zero so in our case the starting point is O it goes through and when it returns to D we will say that the displacement is zero Displacement is change in position, as I just said, right? You will see position as far as the y-axis is concerned is 0 minus 0. Do you see that? So change in position is 0. So it is 0 minus 0, which is 0. So that is a very important change. And what you should also understand that the total distance covered is how much? total distance. Let's talk about this now. <clears throat> the car goes away 40 kilometers and returns 40 kilometers. So the total distance is 40 plus 40. I mean the units are meters which is 80 meters. So in our case when we describe it is better to use the word displacement when we are talking about change in position when we talk about distance then distance is never negative it is always positive and when a car is moving total distance can never be zero however displacement can be zero so i hope with this you have understood these two words displacement and distance for junior students they normally use the word distance however we should remember that displacement is change in position and distance is how much have we traveled right okay now when you are describing the graph our description could be slightly better in a way that we can actually find few more things from the graph if i see from o to a it is a straight line and in this straight line if you find the slope of the line oa then that will give us the speed so let me introduce another word which is speed and speed is change in distance over time. 
So let me call this as delta d, change in distance over change in time, right? When we use displacement, we also use a term which is velocity, which I'll indicate by v for most of the cases, right? For this description, in this particular video, we'll stick to speed and distance. So speed is change in distance over change in time. From O to A, how much is the speed? Let's calculate. So from O to A, the change in distance is from 0 to 20. That means 20 meters. So it is 20 meters divided by time is from 0 to 5, 5 seconds, right? So this speed is 20 divided by 5, which is 4. The units are meters per second. Do you see that? So that is how you calculate speed from distance time graph. Let us calculate speed for other legs of this journey, A to B. So if I see A to B, during this time A to B, let's make a triangle like this. B to A, this vertical distance is change in distance, 40 minus 20. So it is 40 minus 20 divided by, here it is 15 and 5, 15 minus 5, correct? And that gives you 20 divided by 10, and that is 2 meters per second, right? The change in y, which is this, is in units of meters, and change in time is in the units of seconds. So it is meters per second. So during the leg AB, we find that the speed is lesser. And you can see from the graph that the slope of OA is much higher than AB. So slope or gradient of the graph indicates speed, right? So let me write down here, slope or gradient. is speed that is change of distance over change in time right so so from a distance time graph we can actually read speed now can you tell me what happens from b to c as you can see there is no change in distance right so so from b to c what we observe here is it is 40 minus 40 do you see that and the time changes from 15 to 20. That is 20 minus 15. And that is 0 meters per second. And that really indicates that the car is stationary, not moving. I mean, not moving. So whenever you have a horizontal line in a distance time graph, it means the object is not moving. It is stationary. It is at standstill. But when you have a line going away, then it indicates a straight line, a constant speed. So all these speeds which we calculated, 4 meters per se second is all along O to A, 2 meters per second is all along A to B. From B to C, it is 0 meters per second, that means stationary. Now, let's talk about CD. If I calculate the change in position, there will be 40, this as far as the distance is concerned, it is 0. Here the distance is 40, right? This point C could be written as, at time 20, position of C is 40. The point D could be written as, at time 40, the position is 0. So change in distance is 0 minus 40, right? So let's talk about CD now. So it is... 0 minus 40 divided by time 40 minus 20. So that gives us minus 40 over 20 or minus 2 meters per second. Now here minus indicates that the car is returning, right? So, so the speed here is negative minus 2 meters per second and it means return so car is returning distance is decreasing that means 
distance is decreasing right it was 40 and it changes to 0 so whenever you have a negative slope which indicates speed of return and for velocity minus we understand if I use the word velocity with negative we understand that it is in the opposite direction right so that's how you could uh, analyze your graph now from the graph we can also find few more things like uh, total average speed that is to say total distance covered which is 40 going up and 40 returning that is 80 divided by total time taken which is 40 do you see that so from the graph you can also see that average speed is 80 divided by 40 which is 2 meters per second correct now with all this information which we calculated let us describe our graph once again okay now it is up to you to use the word displacement or distance since you now understand both these words right so let me use the word distance since we are calling this graph as distance versus time correct so the description a better description could be that the graph shows movement of a car over time that's the key it starts from origin o moves at a constant velocity of or speed of four meters per second travels a distance of 20 meters in 5 seconds and then reduces the speed to a constant speed of 2 meters per second traveling 20 meters in 10 seconds then it stops for 5 seconds 15 to 20 and returns with a constant speed of 2 meters per second Do you see that could be a better description and on top of that you can say the overall average speed of the car was 2 meters per second total journey car traveled a distance of 80 meters in 40 seconds and so the total average speed of the car was 2 meters per second right so I hope that helps you to understand how to describe a distance time graph with required calculations feel free to post your comments subscribe to my videos and share them thank you and all the best